So let me start by saying what science is not. It's not a belief, it's not an ideology, it's not bias. Alright, so what is science? Put simply, it's a method. It's not a philosophy. Science is a method for acquiring knowledge. And it's what well, it's the best method we have uh, for doing that because it, it the way it is it totally removes it removes to a degree that no other method does the amount of bias and susceptibility that naturally comes with being a human being it's very very objective and it's based on evidence it's based on what you can prove and what's held up under experiment so there's really no no arguing with it because it's just what science says is just the way things are now what scientists say that's a different story there can be scientists that will skew certain things to try to get published or whatever But science, the process itself is extremely honest, extremely unbiased. Basically, you you start out with an idea, you make an observation, and you say, oh, that's weird, I wonder why that is. And then you take a guess. You, you make a hypothesis. Oh, maybe this could explain why that's happening. And then, once you make a hypothesis, it should be testable and falsifiable would rule out the you, you should try to rule out your own hypothesis basically so what does it mean for something to be falsifiable uh, there's a famous quote i don't remember who by falsifiability is the earmark of uh, a reasonable statement rather than an unreasonable statement statement something along those lines so cars run on gasoline that's a falsifiable claim because you can open the tank and see that there's gasoline and see that it goes into the carburetor or fuel injection and see that it gets burned and measure what comes out of the exhaust and do the chemical you can do that so that's the nature of science and that's why a lot of people don't like science because it doesn't leave room for belief you can't accept uh, the Big Bang Theory or the theory of evolution and be believe that the Quran is the perfect word of, word of God there's a good quote by I think Neil deGrasse Tyson he said that essentially the universe doesn't care what you believe the universe is the way it is regardless of what you want to be or what you might think is true. So what is a theory? Well, theory is one of those things that you hear thrown around. Oh, it's just a theory. Okay, well, let me start off. There's two definitions for the word theory. There's your everyday conversation definition and then a scientific definition. When you're talking science, most words have very special and very specific definitions for that context so theory and normal conversation can is basically like an idea it's very broad i have a theory that you know restaurants with long lines in front of them have good food you know that's just kind of my theory just like philosophy people throw philosophy around too my philosophy never be is never be more than five minutes late. You know, that's not that has nothing to do with the fucking intellectual fucking field of philosophy. So what a theory is is something that is an explanation. It answers the question why. So there's laws of gravity and there's the theory of gravity. Laws explain how things fall down. Theory explains why things the things fall down. 
and theories have very broad explanatory power and are backed by hundreds or thousands of experiments and data. So theory is not something some scientist was just like, hey, you know, well, here's a theory, like a normal everyday definition. No, something doesn't graduate from a hypothesis to a theory without going through rigorous testing by scientists, by scientists and then peer reviewed by other scientists and then you do that a bunch of times and then eventually it becomes a theory. Wow, okay. Fucking idiot. Dumbass. I have a theory that that lady is a fucking dumbass. I don't even remember what the fuck I was talking about now. I think that's pretty much all I can say while I'm riding down a busy street in LA, but... But I'll leave you with another quote from the great Neil deGrasse Tyson. He says, Every great scientific truth goes through three phases. First, people deny it. Second, they claim it conflicts with the Bible. And third, they say they've known it all along. So, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.